morning, boys and girls. Happy Sabbath. I hope you guys are having a really great day. Uh, so get into your Sabbath school boxes. What you should find is your last Sabbath school bag in the box. So it's, we are on week 13 of first quarter. And I am having so much fun with all the stuff that we're learning this week. I'm so excited for next quarter. I'm so excited for, oh, I just love doing these with you and I really do miss everybody and wish we could be doing these together but if you are doing them at home please 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 send me pictures send me videos allow me to share with our other church members what we're doing um, but back to the point so for week four you're gonna have your yellow paper in your bag that says March week four your yellow paper that looks like this <laughs> yeah so we've been talking so much this quarter we talked about families we talked about being a part of the church we've talked about what it means to have faith and what the truth is and how we can spread the message and how we are a important part of god's family so for week 13 or you know March week four we are going to be talking about how we can do good for others and spread the message of God's amazing grace his amazing love his amazing power within us that other people can learn to believe in and have faith in and be a part of um, so for our game what you're gonna do is you have a piece of paper like this just a simple white piece of paper it says March 27 2021 right or wrong game what you're gonna do this is another one of those whole family games so gather everybody up as many people as you've got gather them all up sit in a big circle sit together you know um, there's a lot of options to play this <laughs> And what you have is there are on this piece of paper 10 different scenarios, 10 different situations that may or may not happen. And what you have to decide is you'll have one person read the scenario and you could take turns or you can just pick one person to read all of them. And then what you have to decide is you have to think, oh, did that person do right or did they do wrong? Were they being truthful? Or were they lying? Were they not believing in being a good follower in Christ? Or were they? Um, <laughs> and there's a lot of scenarios and the scenarios age or they, they range from really easy ones meant for our little, little kids so that they can start learning about right from wrong to really hard ones for our older kids and take time, go through it, really think think it through and spend time discussing this. And if you have so much fun with it, get creative, make your own scenarios. <laughs> um, <laughs> the point of this is that we can't control everything. Even as followers of Christ, we cannot control anything. So we, we have to choose to do good in our lives. We have to choose to spread good to others and we can't pretend to do good we can't fake doing good we have to choose it which means that we need to know what good is and it's really important for us to spend time talking about it and learning it and all of that stuff let's move on to the craft because this week's craft is a little bit more involved i guess um i've actually been excited all quarter to do this week's craft there are a couple things you're going to need to go gather before you start your craft. The most important of those things is one of these. You're going to need to gather a toilet paper roll just like this. And then you're also going to need some scissors and some tape. I recommend tape, but you can use glue. In your bag, you'll see this Ziploc bag that's got different colors in it, right? It's got orange and yellow and a little light now you're going to want to make sure for your light pull the little tabby thing out or else it will not work double check that it works before you work your craft so 
see mine works now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these strips of yellows and oranges what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna tape them around this so you'll start with one yellow while well, I'm starting with a yellow you can start with whatever color you want and they are long enough that you can cover the entire thing so I just taped one yellow down and then I'm going to kind of turn it a little and tape the orange down and then I'm going to alternate again to the yellow I will show you guys as soon as I get all of these, well, this next one taped down. Because, see, yeah, I'm going to tape it kind of like over here. Get that closed. And I'm actually going to set the other ones aside. You can use as many or as little as you want. Um, and you just continue going around and taping them down to the bottoms, to the sides. Try to get them as taped as good as possible. Um... So that they, they're still open at the top, but they don't fly away. So, I think I'm going to have to tape mine a little in the middle here too. Kind of tape it like that. And then come around here. I think one more piece and then I'm good for well for my example <laughs> so see it kind of goes like this and what you may want to do is you can take your scissors and kind of fringe up the top a little so just a couple cuts here and there so that it sort of goes like this Woo! it's supposed to look like flames then you take your candle you turn it on and you put this directly over it now, when you turn off your lights, or if you're not in quite as bright a room as I am, you should see the reflection all the way up to the top of the tube into the tissue paper so that it looks all whew, kind of like a candle. Or in our example, the light of God. <laughs> uh, yeah, so <sighs> what we're making here is something is a representational uh, item or you know an example of the types of goodness that we need to spread light fills a room and it spreads to everybody that can see it and we need to be that light for God it's so important and I just I hope you guys are all having a really great day and I really really hope that you guys are all learning even in all these tough times how to shine brightly for the Lord because I know we have some amazing kids in our church who just shine brighter than you can imagine. And maybe you haven't got to experience that, but let's find ways to shine bright. Okay, that's it for this week. I'm so glad we got to be here together. Let's, uh, as always, we're going to close in prayer. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, oh, we love you so much. And we are so thankful for everything you've done for us. We are so thankful that you are in our lives and you've given us people to show us how to be better believers in you. And you have given us people that will show us how to share your love to others and make us the brightest light we can be in the goodness of your name. We love you so much. In your name, amen. <laughs> Bye.